All right. So the first thing I did is I did my the long way up, the hot dog way, as I call it. It's going to be pretty tall, so we want that space. We're going to go ahead and start with the outline of our rock, because remember, they attach onto rocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, and you can do it however. We're going to draw like kind of like a wavy line. And then we're going to kind of curve it right. because rocks are never perfect. So this is, so they can be squiggly as much as you want. They can even have like a little edge to it if you'd like. I use a lot of the lines that we, you guys used to do in Zen art. So the next thing we're going to do is going to do another kind of squiggly line, but it's going to shape a U and it's going to be right under this line. So it's kind of like a U under this one. And again, it can be a little squiggly. It can just be a straight U. And then we're gonna keep on going all the way down. Same thing, I'm gonna draw kind of like a little squiggly. So it's not perfect, but it's okay. We want it to look a little bumpy. All right, so it's looking a little weird right now, but it'll make sense once we're finished. So this is the outline of our huge rock where all of our corals are gonna attach to. I'm gonna go ahead in the middle here. I'm gonna draw a little squiggly line, kind of slanted like that. And then we have our little outline already for our rock. So now we're just gonna go ahead and start filling it in with our different types of corals. So the first one I did, it's kind of looks a little funky. So on this squiggly line here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw on sideways a little bit, two lines kind of curving out like that. All right. And then what I did is I drew another squiggly line to in the middle, attaching these two edges. And I'm gonna do another line, but I'm kind of gonna go around it. So I'm gonna start a little bit on the side here and curve around and then draw another wavy line. And then we're gonna curve it back around. Almost looks a little like a mushroom kind of. All right. And the last little thing is I did is you're gonna do like little circles or U's. It's almost like a U shape. And you're gonna do this all around as many as you'd like, as many as you can fit. And they can always be different shapes and sizes because they're never the same. You can even add extra on top. So I'm gonna draw like a few. Remember you're just drawing like a little circle or like a U is easier. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So I'm gonna draw another one over here as well. Same thing, I just kind of curve, I'm gonna draw my line here a little bit longer. So two lines kind of curving out. And then remember we did another wavy line and one that curves around and then wavy and then curves back around. And then we're gonna go ahead and do our U's as well. Remember, I'm gonna make these a little bit bigger. Looks a little weird at first. Have you guys ever seen corals before? They look a little funky. They look a little, they always have different shapes and sizes, so it never has to be perfect because sometimes they'll grow bigger on one side or they'll have smaller on the other. It's always fun to look at them, the different colors that they have. All right, so this is one of our corals that we did here. Now I'm going to draw another one in this space here. And I'm going to draw three of these. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and draw like a circle, but I'm not going to close it. I'm going to have a little space open right in the middle. And then I'm going to go ahead and on the sides here on the sides, I'm going to go ahead and make a straight line. All right, and then right here in the middle where we did our circle, we're gonna go ahead and draw like a little black circle and you're gonna color it in. 
And we're going to do the same thing on the sides. We're going to draw two other ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make like a circle. But remember, you don't close it. You leave a little space. We're going to go ahead and draw and fill in your little black circle within that. And then straight lines coming down. And same thing on the other side here. And you can do as many if you wanted to add half space. You can add any more of these if you'd like. Same thing. And then two lines down. And then what I did is to make a little more detail is I just drew in the body right here in the little squares I drew two lines kind of curving in and then what I did at the bottom here is so it doesn't look blank I drew another small little rocks around it so what I did for the rocks is I did like half a circle and then I connected it and then I did the same thing here half a circle and then you want to connect this straight line and over here half a circle straight line and you can add little small pebbles like around it so I did circles two small circles so now let's work on the ones that are around it so these are the ones that are going to be a little bit more funky looking so these ones, we're going to go ahead and draw, actually for this one, this is going to be a plant we're going to draw. So we're going to add actual plants. So maybe like kelp thing. Kelp is kind of, it's not always straight, it's curvy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead right here in the corner is you're going to make squiggly lines and as tall as you want. And then when you're at the top, I'm kind of going to do like a circle. And then I'm going to come back down. Same thing. Down. Now I'm going to do three of them. So I'm going to go ahead and do another one right here. Same thing. Squiggly. Kind of make a circle and then do another squiggly line right back down. I'm going to draw one more right here. So this one's going to be hiding a little bit behind the rock. The same thing, squiggly. I'll make this one a little bit taller. And then I connected it to the rock right here. All right, for this one here, this one's going to be a little funny too. I'm not going to do it as squiggly as this one, but I'm still going to curve it. So I'm going to go ahead and curve here you're going to do a line and you're going to come back around in the same shape and you're not going to connect this straight to the rock because we're going to curve it and create another one back up you're going to curve it and kind of come down and Wait, we have to add more. We'll add one more. So this one I'm going to do, let's see how many I can get. I've done one, two, three. I think I'll do five. Curving it. Coming back. But you remember, you're going to leave a little space. Then you go ahead and curve it and do one more tiny one and finally you can connect it to your rock all right so we have our top one it almost looks like a little hand doesn't it all right so here we have a little bit of space so i'm gonna add another one here and this one's gonna be more like wise for this one right here on the edge any any place on the side that's blank you guys can choose is what i'm gonna do two lines sticking out straight they're a little bit short and then I'm going to go ahead and make another line outwards. And for this, I'm going to draw almost like the top curve of, of a 
of a heart kind of because then I'm gonna go like this so it almost looks like a heart also at the Y but instead I'm gonna come down then you do a little horizontal line to keep your branch going and I'm gonna draw another one same thing almost like a heart And this one, I'm gonna curve it. So, so you can curve it kind of anywhere, any which way you have, if or you have room or want. And I'm gonna connect it back. And I have a little bit of space here between my lines, so I'm gonna draw one more. So line out, do kind of like a heart. Come back and connect it to my branch. So here we have our corals and I did little small details so what I did is I drew like a line here like another squiggly line to make it look more like a rock and there's other little rocks around so I drew another one here and I'm going to draw one in this little space across and right here where I drew this little line the types of animals that we have living in the coral reefs, sometimes we have snails. So what I did is I drew a circle here for an oval. And I'm gonna draw kind of like a swirl in it. And then at the very, very bottom here, we still have a few more little details to add. So I did the little snail here if you'd like to add it. The other little thing is I'm going to draw right here at the bottom. Is uh, Sometimes you have eels living there too. So for an eel, I'm going to draw it coming around. They you like to hide in the coral reefs too because they blend in sometimes with the colors. So what I did is I drew another wavy line here coming down. And what I did is I kind of make it a little bit triangle at the very top front and then I'm going to do the same way I came and I'll go ahead and draw its little eye here at the beginning so I just drew a circle for it but at the very top I'm going to kind of do like a small U upside down U kind of and I'm going to draw the little lines for its fins same thing at the bottom. You can draw as many little lines as you can fit into that one. So we have an eel sticking out over here. Looks like it's kind of coming around your rock here. And just to make it look like I'm underwater, I went ahead and I drew little bubbles around. So for those, I drew a circle. I draw a circle within it. And then I did other smaller little ones and they're gonna be smaller so I'll just make a small circle. And you can make as many as around as you like. So I'll do one here. I'll do another big one over here. So I did one, two, three, four small ones, two big ones around there. But so far, this is how our coral is going to come out looking. And remember, you guys can add a little bit more color. If you have the color, if not, it still looks good like this.